Which of the following is caused by a power assist brake booster push rod that is too short? A. Brake light is illuminated. B. Excessive brake drag. C. Brake system to be inoperative. D. Excessive brake pedal travel. A client reports hearing rattling originating from the engine. The drive belt serpentine belt system is where it is coming from, according to technician A. The following step is to A. Replace the drive belt tensioner. B. Replace the drive belt. C. Inspect the drive belt for signs of wear. D. Inspect the pulleys for signs of excess play or bearing noise. With an electronically controlled 4-speed automatic transaxle, you feel a shock while changing from neutral to drive. Which of these needs to be fixed away from the vehicle? A. Forward clutch. B. AT fluid temperature sensor. C. Line pressure test. D. Control valve assembly. You will conduct all of the tests listed below while conducting preliminary diagnostics on an electronically controlled automatic transmission, except A. Line pressure test B. Fluid check C. Stall test D. Flex plate check With an electronically controlled automatic transmission, the line pressure test displays low pressure when the gearbox is idle in all gear ranges. What could be the reason? A. ATF temperature sensor. B. Oil pump pressure regulator. C. Open and dropping resistor circuit. D. Maladjusted throttle position sensor. All of these claims about replacing and removing transmissions are accurate, except A. The negative battery cable should be disconnected before transmission removal. B. The front drive axles need to be marked in relation to the front hubs. C. The drive shaft must be marked in relation to the differential flange. The EGR valve may be closed, according to a technician. A closed EGR valve would be indicated by which of the following? A. Engine surge. B. Rough idle. C. Stalling. D. Spark knock. To check the continuity of wires that carry digital signals, which of the following tools can be used? A. Voltmeter B. Megameter C. Analog meter D. Logic probe Which of the following indicates excessive play between the rack piston and sector on an integral power steering gear? A. Hard steering condition when cold. B. Lost motion within steering gear. C. Hard steering condition when hot. D. Steering wheel vibration. You're inspecting the color of the fluid in an automatic transmission transaxle. Which of the following will cause the fluid to be varnished with a light to dark brown color? A. Engine coolant contamination. B. Oxidation from overfilling. C. Wear from friction material. D. Water contamination. Power and ground at the clutch coil are good, but the compressor clutch will not engage. Which of the following is the most likely reason for the problem? A. 
bad pressure cycling switch. B. Low refrigerant. C. Locked up compressor. D. Incorrect air gap. Which of the following is caused by a power assist brake booster push rod that is too short? A. Brake light is illuminated. B. Excessive brake drag. C. Brake system to be inoperative. D. Excessive brake pedal travel. What is the most likely cause of a broken center adapter plate, rear extension housing mating surface, or transmission case? A. Oil leak. B. Jumps out of gear. C. Won't shift. D. Difficult shifting. The cylinder head surface has just been machined. What will have to do to the valve train? A. Grinding valve stems. B. Lengthening the push rods. C. Shim the head. D. Increasing valve spring tension. Which of these procedures would help find pits, blisters, and small shrunken impressions on a plastic repaired area after priming? A. Blowing and dusting the repaired area. B. Wire brushing and dusting the repaired area. C. Block sanding the area with a medium grit paper. D. Wiping off the repaired area with thinner. An application of a base coat metallic color has been made in which streaks indicate each pass of the prey gun. Which of the following is the most likely cause? A. Too much drying time between coats. B. Using too high an air pressure. C. Wrong temperature reducer. D. Improper overlap with spray pattern. Which, if any, of these is the best way to prepare an old, grainy, thick paint for spraying? A. Strain and reduce. B. Strain and over-reduce. C. Strain, over-reduce, and then strain again. D. None of these, dispose of the paint. Which of the following may cause solvent popping? A. Painting over rust spots. B. Insufficient flash time for undercoats. C. Using the wrong primer. D. Applying top coat too wet. Which of the following may cause fish eyes? A. Tire dressing from the detail area. B. Paint sealant residue. C. Airborne contaminates. D. All of the above. A vehicle that was refinished overall with an acrylic enamel lost its shine drying overnight. Which of these is most likely the cause? A. The paint was over-reduced. B. Too much drying time was allowed between coats. C. Too few coats were applied. D. The finish was not sanded enough. Sand scratch swelling is most likely to happen in which of these cases? A. Using a bad batch of hardener. B. Cold shop conditions. C. Using the wrong hardener. D. Applying too much material. A painter wanting to color match a metallic paint would make the least change in paint shade by changing the A. Air pressure. B. 
gun distance. C. Amount of thinner or reducer. D. Number of coats applied. Which of these is least likely to cause wheel burn when buffing or polishing a top coat? A. Cold shop conditions. B. Use of an abrasive compound. C. Insufficiently cured paint. D. Using a high-speed polisher. At what temperature can urethane coats be force-dried? A. 300 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 120 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 170 degrees Fahrenheit. D. None of the above. Ensuring the availability and access to MSDS is the responsibility of the A. Employee B. Jobber C. Employer D. Paint Manufacturer Which of the following could be likely cause for fisheye contamination? A. Use of old rags for cleaning B. Aftershave or cologne. C. Old cleaning solvent. D. Humid shop conditions. When a vehicle is removed from the booth six hours after painting, the gloss has diminished. Painter A says too much flash time was allowed. Painter B says the booth filters should be changed. Who is right? A. Painter A only. B. Painter B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A or B. A urethane bumper cover peeled its paint six months after the car was painted. Which was the most probably cause? A. Wrong paint was used. B. Improper bake time. C. Mold release agent remained on the part. D. Someone leaned against the bumper. How should a static charge be removed from a vehicle's body? A. Wet down the paint booth. B. Attach a ground strap to the vehicle. C. Use a clean tack rag. D. Wait 20 minutes before spraying. Two painters are arguing the right method of sanding before painting. Painter A says a dual action sander will perform adequately in most conditions. Painter B says wet sanding with 400 grit sandpaper is the only way to sand a vehicle. Who is right? A. Painter A only. B. Painter B only. C. Both A and B. Rail dust damage appears as A. Black marks in clear coat. B. Longitudinal tracks in the top coat. C. Small points of rust in the finish. D. None of the above. Shrinking in a primer surfacer application is most likely to be caused by A. Insufficient hardener. B. Insufficient curing. C. Insufficient coats. D. Insufficient heat. When cleaning new bumper covers, the use of VOC-based solvent is discouraged because A. It soaks into the substrate. B. It harms the urethane. C. It is flammable. D. It harms the environment.
The color of a vehicle can be identified by A. Matching the paint to a color chip index B. Calling a dealer C. Cross-referencing according to a factory color code D. Send out a piece of the vehicle to a jobber The first step a painter takes in preparing a car for paint is A. Water and detergent wash B. Blow off the vehicle with compressed air C. Test a sample of the paint D. Measure film thickness Painter A says the block can be removed from sandpaper when sanding a large flat vehicle surface. Painter B says the block must never be removed. Who is right? A. Painter A only. B. Painter B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A or B. What is the primary function of a sealer? A. Protect the substrate from solvents in the top coat. B. Protect moldings and trim from enamels. C. Protect the substrate from the solvents in the undercoat. D. Provide UV protection for the substrate. A gravity-fed spray gun can be identified by A. A cup located on the side of the gun B. A cup located on the top of the gun C. A fluid tip that extends beyond the face of the air cup D. A fluid tip flush with the face of an air cup Which of the following is a consideration when selecting nozzle combinations for an HVLP gun? A. Viscosity of the painting material. B. Size of the object being painted. C. Quality of the finish. D. All of the above. When prepping a new unpainted urethane bumper cover for painting, which of the following can be used? A. Solvent cleans. B. Enamel reducer. C. Alcohol. D. None of the above. If the spray pattern on the surface of a panel resembles a figure 8 or split spray pattern, the likely cause is A. Air pressure too high. B. Air pressure too low. C. Material not reduced sufficiently. D. None of the above. When applying color coats to a repaired area, a technician notices the feather edge is swelling and starting to lift. Which of the following is the proper remedy to the problem? A. Allow the coating to dry, sand out the defect, and recoat with a urethane sealer. B. Apply numerous and successive coats to hide the lifting. C. Allow the coatings to dry, and then continue as before. To avoid the formation of a tape edge in a door jam, a technician should. A. Sand the edge and polish after the paint application is cured. B. Back mask the door jam and create a softer edge. C. Spray the door jam entirely. D. None of the above. A clear coat finish has an orange peel condition. Painter A says a dual action sander can be used to remove the texture. Painter B says the panel can be resprayed. Who is right? A. Painter A only. B. Painter B only. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A or B.
Clogged air cap holes in a spray gun should be cleaned with which of the following? A. Needle B. Small nail C. Toothpick D. Wire Stone chip resistant coatings are applied. A. After color coats. B. Before clear coats. C. According to the manufacturer's directions. D. None of the above. The first step a painter takes in preparing a car for paint is A. Water and detergent wash. B. Blow off the vehicle with compressed air. C. Test a sample of the paint. D. Measure film thickness.